it's a shock move that's uh, going to upset a lot of people in the hurling fraternity uh, all across Dublin. But the, the captain of the hurling team in Dublin, Owen O'Donnell, has made a dramatic switch over to the Dublin footballers. Now, at this stage, we're not entirely sure if it's going to be just for the rest of the season or if it's going to happen overall. We've seen it in the past happen with Conal Keeney. I suppose he went back the other way uh, with the hurlers and obviously after being with the footballers for a number of years. Tomás Brady had been with the hurlers, you know, like a savage fullback for them. He ended up going to the footballers, did his cruise shit. Shane Ryan had been on both sides. Mark Shooter, we saw he went to the the um, the football side of things from the hurlers um, during Jerry Cunningham's reign, stayed with them for a couple of years and then went back with the hurlers as well. Uh, but Owen O'Donnell, it's a huge blow to, to Matty Kenny because this is a guy that he'd named as his captain at the start of the 2022 season, somebody that he'd described as a natural leader. And certainly the way he plays, he definitely is. Uh, he's 26 years of age, prime of his life, and it's a huge blow to Dublin hurlers to see. Another one of the guys that, you know, for example, over the last number of years, if you if you take the likes of Cormac Costello, uh, I suppose, Kieran Kilkenny, even Lee Gannon, another Whitehall Colum Kills guy, um, Eric Lowndes and so on and so forth. There have been a lot of players that you would have thought this person could easily hurl for Dublin and, and take them up towards the top level. But yet again, football is flexing its muscles in Dublin. And I suppose the interesting thing is that, you know, Desi Farrell, you know, would obviously have to sanction this because he is the, the manager. John Costello, the, the chief executive of Dublin GEA, he's a Whitehall column kills man, just like um, Owen O'Donnell. Now, who knows if there was any conversations and, and how this came about just yet. It's, it's obviously the story is just breaking. But, it, you know, it's Desi Farrell had actually been part of Matty Kenny's backroom team as a performance coach in 2019. And here we are now in 2022. And we'll see if Matty Kenny remains on as manager. But Desi Farrell has now taken this, basically the jewel in the Dublin hurling crown. In um, you know, and maybe that sounds a small bit dramatic, but that is what it's amounted to with Owen O'Donnell going from the the hurlers to the Gaelic footballers. Um, there are there's plenty of notable footballers that have played uh, from Dub for Dublin from Whitehall, Colm Kill, obviously Cormac Costello, who scored um, a couple of brilliant goals at the weekend for Dublin against Kildare in the Leinster final. Lee Gannon, who's really establishing himself. Um, this season, obviously, he was there during the league, but really seems to be stepping up. Scored a couple of points the other day coming up from cornerback. Other notable players in the past, Tommy Drum, he captained the 1983 Dublin All-Ireland winning football team. Paul Clark played in 1995. Um, I suppose and O'Donnell had been the first man from the club to hurl for Dublin team since the 1980s when he joined in 2015. A uh, little bit more background, born in Zimbabwe, moved here age six. His father used to play for St. Folias in Roscommon, more of a football man. In 2017, he was asked, had he any preference for hurling or football at underage level? And he said, no, I just love both. If you were playing well in the football, you'd love the football. If you were playing well in the hurling, you'd love the hurling. There was uh, there was much more of a chance of hurling with my county, so that's why I went with them. And now, obviously, he's in, he's in with the, the footballers. And even if you were to, to jump ahead to, to when and where he might feature, the weekend of the All Ireland quarterfinals, which is when Dublin will next be out, that is um, June twenty fifth to twenty sixth. So it's only three and a half weeks away, really. And you, you sort of wonder if they get on to. Let's imagine he plays in one of those games. Depending on who comes through the qualifiers, we're not sure who come through just yet. But imagine if he features in that game, and all of a sudden they're thinking, well, we've got probably the most athletic, arguably defender in hurling but full back i would imagine so i'm not sure there's anyone as dynamic and able to sort of back to a player from behind but then just and burst out in front of them and that would i mean that would be just as valuable on a gaelic football field as a hurling field but obviously there's an awful lot of differences you know there are similarities but there's a lot of differences in the games too in terms of how you mark a lad the sort of moves you'll come up against the dummies you know whatever it might be the the backdoor cuts yes you see them in hurling but football is quite a different game and if you were, for example, I'm just juxtaposing, you know, the, the sort of most dramatic situation that he goes into an All-Ireland semi-final and is marking David Clifford. You know, it's, it's highly unlikely that he'd be thrown out to mark David Clifford. But athletically, Owen O'Donnell can compete with pretty much anybody out there. Um, so it would be mouthwatering clash if something like that were to happen. But, you know, is he used to the sort of little dummies and shimmies and runs that, that someone like David Clifford could make? I mean, I've no doubt that O'Donnell would be good enough athletically to mark somebody like that, but to throw him straight out there to do that um, almost immediately, that would be um, that would probably be a folly. But still, it's exciting because for the Dublin footballers because 
a lot of the players that they have in the defence have been there for a long, long time. Obviously, Johnny Cooper's there for a long time. Michael Fitzsimons was playing back in the in the, the All Ireland in 2011. He was there even before that. So there are a couple of players, James McCarthy, even with plenty of miles on the clock as well. All still really good players, but no, wouldn't be entirely sure if if you know how long more they'll stay. And this is the big thing now with with Owen O'Donnell. Is he going to stay with the the Dublin footballers from here on out, um, or go back with the Dublin hurlers next year? I mean, with the hurlers, obviously, it hasn't gone brilliantly this year at all. And they've been getting, you know, the previous two seasons, they were knocked out a bit early and heavily by Cork in those qualifiers down in Thurles. So um, it, it does feel like a, a massive blow to the Dublin hurlers and to Matty Kenny as well, assuming he were to stay on. Um, so we'll be talking about it more on the Thursday show with Richie Power and Kieran Carey. So make sure to sign up at patreon.com forward slash our game. We're going to have le- plenty more coverage as the weekend draws closer. But let me know your thoughts on Ono O'Donnell changing over from the Dublin hurlers to the Dublin footballers. Do you think it'll work? And do you think we'll see him feature this 